Hello to all of you and welcome to our webinar on efficient grinding solutions for the cement industry. We are pleased to have you all on air right now. Today we will speak about grinding solutions that meet the increasingly complex requirements of the modern cement industry. My name is Nico Hachenberg and I'm the head of engineering department at KHD Humboldt Redux Center of Excellence located in KHD headquarters here in Cologne. I am responsible for the mechanical design of KHD's proprietary equipment like high pressure grinding rolls, crusher, hammer mills, ball mills, fans, classifier and separators. Thanks Nico for opening our session today. To introduce myself, my name is Jens, Jens Breidenbach, and I am the head of the process department in KHD. My position includes the responsibility of KHD pyro and grinding process departments, as well as our uh, test center. This center is also located here in Cologne, Germany, and it contains a model plants facility for grinding, as well as laboratories for mechanical tests, of raw materials and cementitious materials. Today, we would like to give you a broad overview about the most efficient grinding solution in the cement industry. When we ask the question, what is the most efficient grinding system? We always link this question to the operational cost of the grinding plant. The main portion of the cost, of the operational cost, are the expenses of the electrical power. Therefore, I would like to start my presentation with a diagram on the specific energy consumption of different grinding solutions. So here, in this diagram, you see the specific energy consumption of different grinding technologies. So the most uh, common grinding technology like ball mill, horo mill, the vertical roller mill, and the roller press. So if we combine this three systems in terms of specific energy consumption, electrical power consumption, then we can base the ball mill solution as a 100% solution. So when it comes to horror mill, we can approximately 70% of the specific energy consumption is needed in the horror mill, 60% of the energy consumption is needed in the vertical roller mill, and in the roller press, this system I would like to, or we would like to refer today about, is approximately 50% of the maximum energy consumption. When it comes to higher specific surface, means when the product fineness will get uh, finer, then the difference between this specific energy consumption comes even more. And as you know, the demand of fine and ultra-fine products in the market is constantly increasing. Yeah. The achievable profit of a cement producer increases linear with the fineness of its product. Now, let us look closer by comparing the vertical roller mill with the roller press. For this, I would like to point your attention to this table where we have the different products, raw meal, clinker, or slack. In terms of energy consumption, we see approximately 15 to 20% less uh, consumption in the raw meal production, five to 7% less in clinker production, and three to five kilowatt hours per ton less in slack grinding. So also, when we talk about efficiency, heat consumption is also an aspect. So for the vertical roller mill to get a stable layer on the grinding table, we need to inject water to the system. This water, of course, it depends on the moisture of your material. This water has to be evaporated in the system. This evaporation costs heat, this heat is sometimes missing in your thermal process of your clinkerization plant or is missing in your waste heat recovery system of your cement plant. Therefore, we can clearly see a benefit in the heat consumption of a roller press plant. When it comes to maintenance, we see less wear rate, what you see here in the, in the lower part of this table, 
approximately 70% lower wear rate when it comes to raw milk grinding, 60% less wear rate when it comes to clinker grinding. This, of course, has a massive impact in your maintenance cost. Yeah? Also, when it comes to less wear rate, less downtime for uh, welding, re-welding your grinding table, re-welding your um, rollers, and my colleague Nico will refer a little bit about this topic later. When we talk about energy consumption, of course, we have to talk about energy costs. Here in this slide, we have done a case study where we marked the savings of a roller press compared to a vertical roller mill with two kilowatt hour per ton. Means two kilowatt hour per ton of raw material and two kilowatt hour per ton of cement saving. Yeah? This is a quite conservative value. Sometimes in the field you see even higher values. If I calculate with these values, we can save in raw material grinding of a, let's say, 5,000 ton per day plant, we can save 16,000 kilowatt hours per day just for raw material grinding. If I grind the clinker produced with this raw material on a roller press plant, I can save more than 10,000 kilowatt hours per day. This is a sum of more than 26,000 kilowatt hour per day for the entire cement plant. Yeah? If I now calculate this with an average cost of kilowatt hour of 17 dollar cents, which is also quite in the conservative range, we can, or you as a cement producer, can gain per year $900,000 with a small cement plant. If you have a, let's say, a medium-sized cement plant, you can even gain 1.5 million just by installation of the different grinding solution in your cement factory. To verify these numbers and these um, energy consumption, we did uh, case studies in one of our plants in India where we did a grinding test on a roller press plant and on a vertical roller mill. You see in this diagram you see the results and you clearly can see the benefit in the specific grinding work at the main mill motor encounters in kilowatt hours per ton of produced slag. This is the same slag the same plant, the same location in India, and you see here at slack grinding, we see even a benefit in five kilowatt hour per ton of product. So if we now talk about the quality of the product, in the past, the cement producers believed that the shape of the cement particle grinded in a roller press might be different compared to other grinding system. For this, the VDZ, the German Cement Producers Association, did a trial with a clinker sample grinded on three different grinding solutions. You see here the roundness on this axis and the particle size on the other axis. And you clearly can see that especially when it comes to fine particles, the difference in roundness is not there. So there is no difference in the roundness of the particle grinded in the vertical roller mill, in a roller press, or in a ball mill. So, and this clearly gives you the indication that the particle size is similar to other grinding systems. High pressure grinding rolls have become the go-to technology for cement finish grinding application since more than 35 years. So KHD plays a major role in that sector and with these 300 high pressure grinding rolls installation, as I mentioned before, um, a variety of application across the world is given. Now you may ask yourself, what makes KHD roller presses so special? For this, I would like to hand over to my colleague Nico. Thank you very much, Jens. KHD is mainly responsible for the design and development of the roller press technology at all since the early days back in the 80s. We have more than 35 years experience in using roller press technology and standalone and also as combined mode with a ball mill. And Jens already indicated, 
It is obviously the most efficient and flexible grinding technology by far. So the question which I would like to pick up is, what makes the KHD roller press so special? As I mentioned before, high pressure grinding rolls were introduced as a new grinding technology by KHD in the early 80s. This first application in 1985 in Dortmund, Germany is still in operation today. Certainly our technology has evolved a lot since then. Therefore, let me introduce the main components of our modern KHD roller press. The two press rolls, item two, are horizontal mounted inside a heavy sectional frame, item seven, supported by the bearing system, item four. And the process philosophy is very simple. One roll is fixed to the frame, the other roll is movable and free to slide within certain limits given by the combination of polished chromium plates and PTFE phase sliding plates. By the way, that system was also invented and patented by KHD. These assemblies can be easily replaced when worn and there's no need to disassemble the rollers or to conduct any other maintenance step. The plates are mounted between the bearing housings, the top and the bottom frame, as well as the external guide mechanism of the bearings for the actual fixing of the roller press rolls. The drive power is transferred to the grinding rollers via multi-step planetary gears, item three, with a spur gear step connected in series. Our gears are bought out items, only sourced from renowned manufacturers with hundreds of references. The gears are mounted on the drive shaft using hydraulic shrink coupling. Whilst ensuring absolutely safety against slip, the coupling allows rapid removal if required. The torque supports, item six, are linked directly to the machine foundation, which prevents torque related stresses from acting on the roller shafts and bearings, but gives the rollers absolute freedom of movement. The material is gravity fed vertically to the roller gap via the feeding device, item one, which can be equipped with a regulating gate if necessary. The forces required for optimal size reduction are transmitted by the means of hydraulic system to the sliding roll, item five, and thus in a controlled manner to the material bed between the roller press rolls. KHD roller press are controlled by an intelligent automation system called Rollcox, which automatically monitors and controls all relevant operating and machine parameters. So let me now introduce you one main feature of our roller press, our bearing system. Principally, two different bearing systems can be installed depending on the roller press type or bearing supplier that you prefer. Either multi-row cylindrical roller bearings or self-aligning roller bearings, which are exposed to the full processing force from the hydraulic pressing device. KHD is the only manufacturer that for many years has successfully installed multi-row cylindrical roller bearings, especially in larger HPGRs. This is only feasible thanks to the KHD patented rubber thrust bearing, arranged directly in front of the bearing housings which evenly distributes all forces from the hydraulic cylinder over the complete bearing by utilizing the entire surface of each bearing roller. It should be also mentioned that this also gives a significant shock absorbing effect. Let me quickly sum up the highlights for you. KHD rollers are supported in radial multi-row cylindrical roller bearings, which absorb the axial and radial forces with the following bearings two actual scythe alignment roller bearings that takes the actual forces on the fixed bearing side and four raw cylindrical roller bearings as main bearing, which offers a very high safety factor in regards to the smallest bearing diameter possible. A high capacity and a much higher reliability than spherical bearings. A significantly smaller bearing housing size than spherical bearings, despite a generously sized bearing load factor. The ceiling of the cylindrical bearing is more reliable than the ceiling of a spherical bearing. We completely avoid dust entry at the bearing houses thanks to labyrinth rings. We offer oil or grease lubrication. Both options are available according to the application and customer requirements. And last but not least, any angular movements between bearing housings and shafts are taken up by special rubber pads. This ensures a uniform load distribution on the roller bearing and hence substantially increases the lifetime of the bearing. What does that mean? 
Angular movements are especially the relative motion between shaft axis and hydraulic cylinder surface which occur during screwing of the roller. In the event of roller screwing, the bearing and the shaft are in absolute parallel alignment with the roller shaft. Bearing and bearing housings cannot move relatively to each other. The seals remain in place and cannot move. Even during screwing, the pressure remains evenly across the roller gap that allows maximum size reduction of the product even under varying feed conditions. It is a proven system that allows movement of rolls without field failures and our unique bearing construction ensures stress-free screwing control. Why? Because of KHD patented rubber thrust bearing concept and pivoting hydraulic cylinder which has been developed by KHD together with a renowned cylindric manufacturer. The most important design feature are the piston swiveling to all sides and the separation of ceiling and guide surface. Only the ceiling lip comes into contact with the outer piston diameter. By the way, I would like to point out that we just achieved a further extension of the lifetime of our rubber pads. We redesigned them and developed a special two component pad for smoother operation and reduced machine load peaks. Especially we combined a softer base layer with a harder top. The two component rubber pads are ready for order and will greatly improve the operation of your KHG roller press. Because they act as spherical bearing against roller misalignment, which means gearing. They ensure uniform load distribution at the bearings of the movable and the fixed roller. They reduce the dynamic impact resulting from vibrations, which further increase the service life. They compensate shaft deflections and they balance potential manufacturing tolerances, if any. One of the most important subjects in roller press grinding is the wear of the roller surface. KHD is offering different kinds of roll wear protection in accordance to the individual requirements of our customers. However, all kinds of wear layer are based on the autogenous wear protection principle. That means material is pressed and packing itself between the different profiles on the rolls. This way, the roll surface is coated and protected from the direct wear of the minerals to be grind. The autogenous surface generally prevents the larger rocks from a direct impeachment of the roller surface and provides a shield from the abrasive movement of material parallel to the roll surface. First, on the left-hand side, you see our proven CHF, which means continuous hard-faced layer, which is to date the most application in the cement industry. This principle protects the entire roll surface with approximately 12 mm thick multi-layer hard facing. This wear protection is because of its favorable price, simple maintenance and strong resistance to very large feed sizes, the first choice, especially in raw mill applications. Absolutely fast and easy to repair and should be your first choice when suffering from different feed sizes. Second, and on the right hand side, our famous stud lining. KHD has developed at patent the studded roll surface, which has defined the standard of wear protection against which our competitors must measure themselves. These rolls provide a longer wear life due to more wear resistant surface and the embedding of an autogenous wear layer. As a further benefit of the studded roll, the nipping properties are significantly improved. This roll surface is still state of the art technology. Coming to figures, the KHD roller press is available in various standard sizes ranging in grinding force from 7 to 32 megatnewton and a roller diameter up to 3 meters. Highlighted should be our unique roll diameter width ratio with maximum production of fineness and minimized edge effects. The specific grinding pressure is kept below 5 newton per millimeter square in order to balance efficient grinding towards machine loads. What does 5 newton per millimeter square mean? Well, grinding pressure is the quotient of grinding force divided by roller diameter divided by roller width. The pressure between the rolls can, however, be lower for grinding raw materials such as preparation of slag in order to cap wear cost at minimum. Why only up to 5 newton per millimeter square? The answer is simple, because it is not necessary. It just will lead to increased wear fraction, high chance of surface damages, high power draw, overcompeted cakes and for sure high operational costs. Therefore, for us, 5 newton per millimeter square is the maximum needed reference value for the cement industry.
Rollerpress alone is only half of the technology when we talk about finish grinding, which Jens will introduce to you. Jens, what else is necessary for efficient grind? Yes, Nico. We should see the entire grinding circuit to evaluate the efficiency of a grinding plant. Here you see a typical process flow sheet of a roller press circuit. You see here the application for clinker grinding. Here we have the feed bins, as usual in every application. We feed the bucket elevator for feeding the roller press itself. After the roller press, we have the static V separator, the dynamic separator, and then a standard dedusting system to extract the product to your cement silo. So when it comes now to the efficiency of the entire plant, of course we have to focus on the additional key equipment around the roller press. So we have this V separator and this dynamic separator supplied by KHD. So let's have a look on the V separator, on the static separator. The most common static separator is a separator named by its shape, the V separator. The KHD V separator is an uncomplicated static separator without any moving parts. It has been originally developed to separate fine materials from a roller press circuit, however, also proved its value in tough applications with large mass flows and abrasive material with wide size range and high levels of feed moisture. The material is fed here from this opening to the V separator. A gas stream or an air stream is coming and separating the fine materials throughout these inbuilt plates to point number two. The coarser materials are falling down and we can extract it very easily from the bottom part of the V separator. The typical cut range for this separator is from 80 micrometer to up to two millimeter. For sure, all internal parts are fixed and have straight and level surface, as does the housing. This ensures simply but effective protection against wear, eliminating the need of maintenance works for many, many years. Since the KHDV separator carries out a whole range of process functions, it considerably extends the range of applications. To give you an idea about the size of the V separator, the distance between the inlet and the outlet can be up to 11.2 meter, and the width of the separator housing is up to four meter in special application like in the mining industry. The V separator is a multifunctional uh, process machine uh, which can separate, deacclimate, drying, and sometimes, especially for cement application, it can cool down the product. The first installation of a V separator in the cement business was done middle of the 90s in the last century. KHD invented this product and we are quite proud of it. The other separator in this grinding system is the dynamic separator. The KHD dynamic separator is called the Sepmaster. We have three different types of dynamic separators in KHD. The SKS type, the SKS M type, and the SKS L type. So all these dynamic separators are operating with a cage wheel. The difference is where you feed the material. For example, the SKS V type, we feed the material with the gas stream into a spiral. The SKS Z type, mainly used for finish grinding of cement, we are feeding directly close to the cage wheel from top of the separator. The SKS M type is an application for smaller production and the SKS L type is a dynamic separator where the gas stream and the material is coming from the bottom. So this is mainly used for raw grinding applications.
Depending on size and application, the Sapmaster separator is available in various versions and with specifically tailored protection against wear and tear. Our standard series goes up to 6 meter cage wheel diameter, which is fully and accurately adjustable in rotation speed and thus ensures precise separation on laboratory standards. The used appreciations indicated the type of separator in accordance to your need. A quite unique mechanical feature of this dynamic separator is the location of the drive. The location of the drive of our dynamic separator is located underneath the separator, which makes maintenance much easier and the heat impact coming from the housing is less. So now the question is how to arrange the individual machine to each other. The dynamic separator, the static separator and the roller press itself. And for this, I would like to hand over to Nico again. Indeed, that is a good question at this point. Let me short view show you the flexibility of our technology. Although the general benefit of applying roller press technology as an effective low energy grinding concept may generally be applicable, the most installation of a roller press system are vastly different for every application and virtually with unlimited use. That means especially our roller press technology fit perfectly in combination regimes across all applications, requirements and preferences. Therefore, the unique design of each plant is the inevitable consequence of the need to optimize each application to its unique circumstances of feedstock, product, capacity and environment. And there is no technology that does this better than a closed comminution grinding plant. Our plant interface exactly with the operational characteristics and dimensions of each individual items. For example, your feed properties like moisture, feed size or material mixtures influences where the feed of the system is being done. If you have already a high portion of fineness or your feed needs to be dried or even cooled first, we put the feed into our static separator first. Another advantage would be a perfect mixture into the circulating material flow. Alternatively, we can feed the system directly into the roller press preven. For example, if it becomes beneficial to make use of the feed moisture. Also, an important decision is to identify the right air classification concept for your individual needs. Raw material can go for static design without any moving parts and without electrical consumers, but you need to accept a little bit more building volume. Or it is more important for you to keep the investment cost as low as possible and to accept slightly higher OPEX costs. As Jens showed already, we have a lot of different separators, but they all have one thing in common. They were developed based on its application. That means no matter what your special circumstances are, we have the right combination. And last but definitely not least, the question of the general plant layout concept. Where to put the roller press inside the building? Shall it be the static separator below or above the API? Well, it's depending on footprint, building height, and thus civil costs as well as on electrical energy consumption, maintainability, and reliability. Here we get an overview of our major layout concepts for new plants and upgrade projects alike. I have concentrated on the arrangement of the roller press and air classification system. We all know that plants are built around hundreds of items of propriety processing equipment, but I think this gives you a much better overview of the core arrangement. You may know that the first application of the roller press were as pre-grinder in order to increase the production rate of an existing tube mill. But did you also knew that this arrangement here on the left hand side were invented by KHD? As Jens also told you, since 1994, we are successfully marketing this process in the given process design with a combination of our V-separator and high efficient dynamic separator technology, which are always pneumatically linked to each other to one unit. This air classification unit does not necessarily have to be above the RP. It can also be placed next to it on the same level. 
in case only an additional bucket elevator is needed, but it will significantly reduce the height of the building. This very compact process arrangement is called our grind X or grind C and offers excellent utilization of constructed space and height. And because of its close plant design, it is mostly used for low moisture and high fineness levels because the material can be transported almost completely closed. This guarantees lowest noise, spillage, and dust emissions. The difference between the grind X and the grind C is the fact that the material transport is realized by a bucket elevator or by a normal belt conveyor respectively. I told you the benefit of having the V-separator above the roller press. However, when considering the finished grinding process, the V-separator should be placed underneath the roller press, especially when grinding wet materials like granulated slag in which the fresh material moisture is being kept for the first run through the grinding rollers. The potential caking problems caused by highly reactive wet granulated slag right after leaving the rollers are being eliminated since the V-separator ensures sufficient drying and deagglomeration of the roller press throughput. This way, the bucket elevator receives only pre-dried coarse material, and the process air can also be used for material lifting with reduce the mechanical material circulating and eliminating dust handling problems. This arrangement is given by our complex system, which is a modular, compacted, and multi-talented grinding solution, which allows you to produce different products in one grinding unit. And the name COMFLEX stands for Comminution System Flexible in Application, and can be built in single or multiple modular setups with most identical equipments. That means the amount of roller presses can also be set individually from the separating unit, which enables the system to ensure permanently grinding availability, even when one RP or one separator is down due to necessary maintenance work. The standard sizes enables production rates of more than 800 tons per hour of raw meal and over 400 tons of cement per hour. To sum it up, it shall be said that all our process design arrangements consists of small modules that cover the whole range of grinding capacity in a cement plant. Even for very large grinding units, we are able to adapt the amount of roller presses different from the amount of air classification units, which could ensure 100% availability of the plant. As I said, even when one RP should be stopped for maintenance reasons, for example, the other part of the plant can still be operating. But we should not forget to highlight that the average availability of a single roller press is higher than 95% when considering the machine alone. Another great benefit of our technology is the standardization of all key parts, such as rollers, gearboxes, fans, and motors. The parts are of common size, independently of its application. And based on this, in a cement plant for raw material, cement, and even blast furnace slags, identical roller presses can be selected, which would significantly reduce the necessary number of spare parts and thus your replacement costs. And referring back to the beginning of our presentation, there's absolutely no comparable alternative when speaking about power consumption and ratio of comminution. Jens, what do you want to add? Nico, there's not much to add. I just want to summarize some points. The roller press system is a reliable technology for grinding almost any material used in the cement business. Compared to the vertical roller mill, it is a more advanced technology due to the energy consumption, maintenance, and civil impacts. It can handle most abrasive materials with a high moisture or a high temperature. With this special stud roller surface, there are no maintenance e efforts at all. Sometimes even up to 40,000 hours of lifetime can be guaranteed. So in total, it is a very high efficient system at low operation cost. This is why our clients are giving trust in our roller press, which is reflecting 
of the market shares of KHD in this technology. So thank you very much for your interest. Yes, also from my side, thank you very much. And please don't hesitate to forward all your questions to us. We will get in touch with you.